Hi guys, welcome back to A Million Bucks Style. Today's video is a very quick and easy makeup routine that I follow whenever I'm getting dressed for a shoot. I'll be sharing all the products that I use. Some are very, very affordable and some I've been using for decades because it works for my skin. I'm in my bathroom today because I thought I will shoot with natural light. In fact, all my videos are shot in natural light. I don't use any ring light or any studio light unless the weather's really cloudy and there's barely any sun. I use some very affordable and some really simple products that you can easily find on Nykaa. I will share the link of all the products that I've used in the description box below. Couple of things that you need to keep in mind is to make sure that your skin is moisturized and supple and fresh. I used to basically use a little bit of ice on my face so that all that puffiness goes away so use that trick if you have a very puffy face in the morning make sure that you apply sunscreen and if you're doing it in the evening make sure that you apply a good primer before you start i have been using a very subtle primer which is from the brand foxtail in fact i have it right here this is a niacinamide serum which also acts as a primer so when you're applying it in the day you can use this i already have it on my face so i'm not going to reapply it but i will link it in the description box below for you guys apologies if i'm looking into the screen and not into the camera because i need to see myself anyways so this is my skin it is quite well behaved as of right now i still have a little bit of acne scars that haven't gone as yet but slow and steady wins the race we don't need any drastic measures because it doesn't bother me honestly i'm going to start with a very very simple product which is a mix of my bb cream and a little bit of foundation sometimes i don't even use a foundation i just go ahead and use my bb cream this is the bb cream i've been using since i was in college honestly and it is true to my skin shade and I absolutely love it in Mac my skin shade is NC 40 so if that gives you any idea like I said I do not consider myself as a makeup guru or you know someone who can actually teach makeup professionally so it's going to be a mix of a lot of mistakes and a lot of just hacks that I've used over a period of time now while you can use your fingertips whatever you want to use i have been using a sponge this is a tiny sponge sorry it's dirty i've been using it for the past three days now i always try and clean them after um, a week of use i don't clean it every single time i use it so yeah anyways so we are going to very quickly apply the bb cream only in areas where I feel I need a little bit of coverage. So I'll of course apply it around my under eyes. Let me come closer. I will of course apply it around my under eye area, around my mouth, and right now i'm doing it with a sponge sometimes i don't even use a sponge i just use it like a cream i'll just rub it on my hands and like use it as a regular cream but because today we're shooting a tutorial, I wanted to make sure that we're a little more professional. I barely ever do this. But anyways, now whatever is left on my hands, I'm just going to use a little bit, very, very tiny amount of foundation. This is the one that I've been using for a very long time. It is the Fit Me foundation. It is a matte foundation and I absolutely love it. It's very, very lightweight. My color is 310, which is a very, very regular shade. And I'm just going to use a little bit of it. Just a few drops, if you can see. One, two, that's all. I'm just going to apply this here. And now using my finger, my baby finger, I'm going to pinky finger apply two dots here one on my nose a couple on my forehead one here around my mouth cheeks nose one around the and in a corner of the eye outer corner of the eye and chin okay now i'm just going to blur all of this using a beauty blender 
just very very quickly okay now with that done i think i'm going to use a little bit just a tiny bit of concealer under my eyes the one that i use is sun beige again from the fit me range this one is a shade 25 you just need a little bit of it these are the og products that never ever disappoint me and I'm not someone who experiments too much with the products that I use on my face. If something's working for me, I don't want to change it. And that's how it should be. You don't want to experiment with something new and end up in a soup. But whenever I'm, you know, traveling or I am shopping, I will just go to a beauty store and ask them to show me a few of their new products. If I like it, I'll pick it up. If I don't, I don't. We have a very, very quick layer of base done. After I've done my base, the one product that I've recently discovered and I never use any makeup without it anymore is the Swiss Beauty Mattifying Powder. This is what it looks like. And it's brilliant. I'm just going to use a fluffy brush. This one is from the brand Sigma. Sigma is a brand that's known for its makeup brushes. They make the most amazing makeup brush this one is a large powder brush the name of the brand is sigma and this one is an f30 and i'm just going to take a little bit of this powder product and this is what it looks like i'm just going to take a little bit you just need a little bit this is what it's going to look like and now i'm just going to go all over my face So this instantly mattifies the entire makeup and sets it in its place. And that's all, that's all that you need. I'm just gonna apply a very, very tiny smidge of concealer on this particular acne scar and blend it in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Next, I use a very, very simple product for my eyebrows, my eyelids, and um, a lot of other things. This is a tiny palette that I found of four eyeshadows from My Glam. It has a dark brown, a black, a nude, as well as a shimmery gold. I love it. I love simple pieces that I can travel with, and this one is the best. You don't need more than these colors. I mean, at least for a neutral base makeup, you don't need more than these colors. I can travel for a wedding and just use these and create like a very glamorized look. So the first thing I'm gonna use is an angular a fluffy brush, tiny one for the eyeshadow. And I'm gonna take this clear, almost uh, compact color and just line my eyelids. Just to make sure there is no discoloration, I'm just going to line my eyelids. That's it, that's it. Not spending too much time on this right now. Now I'm gonna take a blending brush. This is the one that I'm using. I will link all the brush that I use for my makeup. I'm going to use this dark brown shade and I'm going to create a crease line. Cause I have hooded eyes. I like to create some depth in my eyes. And very gently and very lightly, I'm going to create a crease on either sides of my eyelid. The two people I love watching um, makeup tutorials from, one is Smita Deepak and the other one is Prakriti. They make the most beautiful, soothing, makeup routines mine is of course going to be very loud because i am a loud person but they are brilliant at what they do and whatever little makeup tricks i have learned i've learned from them all right so this is what the eyes are going to look like if you can just tell 
I do a very, very rough job, guys. Very, very rough job. Okay, now that this is done, I am going to take the same palette. Sorry, I'm not acting like a professional today for some reason. Okay, I'm going to take an angular eyebrow brush and I'm going to use the black powder. Now, because I have dark hair and dark brows, these are my natural brows and I like to use a darker shade. I'm just going to fill my natural brows very very thin layer I don't like to put too much product next up is this side whatever sparse areas I have I'm just going to fill that and make sure that they are lined perfectly and they don't make me look like Ram Leela Ki Sita Maya all right got it now I'm just gonna take a spoolie from the same makeup kit and I'm just gonna lift my brows and give them some shape With that done, I'm going to now line my eyes with a Kajal pencil. This is the one that I use. Um, it's from the brand Plum. It's the deepest, darkest coal I have ever used and I've used quite a few. So this is what it looks like. Now I'm just going to line my eyelids, just the waterline on the top. Like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect. I just go thicker on the outer edges and then thinner on the inner corners just to create that almond shape. Yeah. Okay. Now once this is done, already the face starts to look so much more prettier now I'm going to take the same angular brush that I had used for my eyebrows and I'm going to use a little bit of product you don't need a lot of it just a little bit sorry wrong palette I'm just going to use a little bit of this product and line the coal just to make sure that it's set and it doesn't move all morning extremely simple now I don't like to create wing lines every single time especially during the daytime I don't think it's required so I keep it rather simple now time for some contouring I use a powdered contour which is from sugar this is what it's called it's called the contour de force mini bronzer and the shade is 01 taupe topper gorgeous I love it it's almost over I'm going to replenish it and I'm just going to apply a little bit under my cheekbones just the natural cheekbones a little on the forehead and a little on the chin and jawline already can you see can you tell the chiseled contours that I have <laughs> okay now I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush I have been using the Mac this shade is oh god it's gonna be quite a challenge it's called peachy keen it's from Mac um, almost about to finish this one also I'm going to take a blush brush this one again is from sigma and it is f10 i think it is f10 it's almost like i can barely read okay i'm just going to take a little bit of this and smile 
always apply your brush in an angular manner lifting your face smile and lift smile and lift I'm already starting to sweat. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my compact powder. I've been using the MAC NC40. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to take a little bit of it and press it on my under eye. And just the chin area. My T is on basically. Okay. Set everything in place. See, a lot of makeup artists are going to say, what on earth is she doing? What is with the compact powder coming after all that face full of makeup? But it just works for me. Now, today I'm not applying any lash color. I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of mascara. This is a waterproof mascara, the OG Maybelline Hyper Curl Waterproof Mascara. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of it, maybe two coats. See the difference and a trick that I use is I first coat it down and then I coat it up. A lot of people make this mistake of avoiding or not applying mascara. It makes all the difference. It changes the way your makeup looks. If you have any eyeshadow or any powder stuck on the upper eyelashes, it looks extremely unkempt. So you might want to skip on eyeshadow, but you can't skip on the mascara. I think it completely changes the game. All right, guys, last but not the least are the lips. And as far as lips is concerned, you know my favorite lipsticks. I've been using these two since the past, let's just say forever since I started using lipsticks, actually. Um, there are two shades that are my favorite. Nude Nuance. And the other one is Touch of Spice. <laughs> They're both from Maybelline and they are both gorgeous colors. Let me just show it to you. Sometimes I wear them both together. Sometimes I wear them separately. And sometimes I don't wear lipstick at all. So this is what it looks like. This one is, of course, Touch of Spice. And this is Nude Nuance let's see what are we going to use today but before i use any of the lipsticks i will use my glams lip pencil it is my favorite shade of nude lip pencil the color's name is tease and it is brilliant as you can already tell almost done with it but i have like four or five already bought and kept because i never ever want them to go out of stock my glam if you're listening these are the best this particular shade at least is fantastic now i'm going to line my lips very naturally so i'm not going to talk i don't need to overline my lips because i'm already blessed with fuller lips but if you do you can definitely go ahead and do that now to make sure that my lipstick stays for a long period of time i'm going to apply the lip pencil all over my lips so sometimes I'll just walk out of the door like this. It is a very, very beautiful matte color, which looks neutral and highlights all the features of your face. What are we feeling today? Are we feeling a little pinky or are we feeling a little matte nude? Let's do a little pinky. beautiful these lipsticks are supposed to be satin finish so what i like to do is i use one square of the toilet paper any tissue will do and i press my lips between the tissue and that's it it gives you a beautiful matte lipstick i do this with all my lipsticks every single shade that i wear because i don't like glossy lips unless i'm wearing a lip uh, gloss then that's a different story altogether but yes okay guys i hope you guys enjoyed this quick makeup tutorial 
I am ready to shoot for you guys. My eyes look pretty and they've just opened up. Lips are fantastic. Cheeks look all blushed and brows have a beautiful shape to it. And I'm wearing my signature hairstyle but with a ponytail. This is what the look is and I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed it because this is a very chatty video. I will link all the products. I'm sorry. I will link all the products used in today's video in the description box below so make sure that you check that out including the dress that I'm wearing. It's a beautiful dress from the brand Sassphorus and I absolutely love it. It's a short dress perfect for the holiday season because it's made out of cotton and has a lovely beautiful multicolored print on it. The jewelry is from SoFetch and so are the bracelets as well as the rings. I will link all of them in the description so do check it out. I love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for being here and I'm going to see you guys very very soon. Please share what you guys would like to watch from me next. I love love listening to you guys and responding to you guys. I know I've been a little under the weather so the videos haven't been very very frequent but I promise I will try and bring you lots and lots of fun content in the months to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you guys very soon. Until then, keep it stylish and always look and feel like a million bucks.